Hello there everyone and welcome to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we are playing as California after America has and continues to go kaboom. Now on screen you can see right now a little bit of a thumbnail, which is what we started playing as, but then because California has a unique focus tree, we're going to continue playing as California for now. But let's begin with California Dreamin'. With the current crisis engulfing the nation and our populace at the end of our rope, one option has become clear. We must not subject our citizenry to the horrors that are going on out east. While the rest of America burns, California will soon become a safe haven for all of our tired and poor, and so California will dream of a better future. And we're led by the Riverside Council. Nothing special about it, but we are currently right-wing authoritarians. Now, from my understanding, California can go down several different paths, which is okay. I mean, that's totally fine with us. And actually... Because, actually, what's the, what's the population of California here? Six million? That's not too bad, actually. That's really not too bad. Oh, it could make some 40s. Yeah, screw these guys. I like my guys thick. There you go. There you go. Go four. Ah, uh, go three. We don't have that much. And then we will go ahead and do... Ooh, Road to Better California. More stability and infrastructure. Naval discussions. California... Californian militias into an army. Ooh, you actually lose a lot of population, but you get more war support and more attack. Oh, how mighty hath fallen. Well... Okay, we have no national spirits, but neutral location. After an extremely wise decision by the local authorities, it was decided that the California state authorities would convene in Riverside, a relatively small city with no political connections that doesn't have a Hispanic name, avoiding the ire of conservatives and liberals alike as we determine the future of California in our beloved Riverside. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. Welcome to California. Regardless of how you've arrived here, America has collapsed. Nothing else except our fair nation quite matters anymore, from the sea we came to the shining sea we arrived. We, the heirs of Jamestown, have finally arrived to the logical conclusion of the American experiment. Death! And so we must pick up the pieces and try to continue living, even if it requires scraping by in poverty. People in the streets are dying, the Riverside Council is trying its best to maintain orders, resources get badly allocated, and chaos in general ensues, but there's also patriotic profundity, and this new experiment being birthed from the American experiment. Perhaps good things will come from this, perhaps this is our future, and you're in for a scare. Forever's apartment, Bowdoin, or Bodine. Watch the sunset engulf the innocent of California as the monster's realm beckoned out. As the signs of life vanquished slowly, he could already feel the evil presence of de demonry and ungodliness arrive within the air. All around the world was the spirit of evil fermenting the undead, ghostly presence, extraterrestrials, and of course the laws of mortal men, or the flaws of them, all to come out after the sun. For hours he watched it out of his window as the world went into black. He tried to get himself to shut out the world after that to blissfully go into the realm of fantasy, but the problem kept gnawing at him and he was forced to reside within the domain of the paranormal until God sent the sun back. But he figured that it was all but pointless to fight the struggle alone, so he turned on KCW, one of his favorite broadcasting stations to help give some comfort within this blackness. But the contents proved, proved that the darkness had infested much more than the phys physical limited, limited physical vision. Horror stories came on the air as the situation in the East was revealed to be rapidly deteriorating, and the Civil War was intimate. Of course, he muttered silently to himself, the darkness comes earlier in the East. The announcement filled him with dread, but also something else, something he hadn't expected. Hope! He knew that eventually the darkness would end, but if this hope could be experienced by all, wouldn't that just be better for the world? Enlightenment is what they called it. The torch, yes, he realized, and immediately rang up the quite frightened operator, and with the excitement of a goal of an eternity finally coming into his reach, he asked, Operator, put me in to Alan Frost. Scare me. Oh boy. After this, election preparations. Hmm. Or Oslin's pipe dream. Let's do this one first. With a nation in, the ca in chaos, following the lack of an elected official to lead our nation, we are in need of a government. As such, staying true to the democratic principles of America, we shall hold an election, of course. With What with God only knows radicals and violence abounding our streets special, precautions will have to be taken to ensure that the process and system run smoothly. However, it was paramount that we uphold these principles. Hmm. We are, in fact, a democracy. Olsen could hardly bear the thought. This is, the East was done, he knew that. The anarchists had done their part, the military was revolting, and the situation was basically done and over with. But, that is not what he had to do today, was it? No. Today... He was going to yet another conference for his election campaign. What election? The radicals were never going to play by the rules. Everyone knew that. He should be trying to preserve the institutions that built the state and union instead of pretending that everything was fine. Cursing himself for being such a politician, he drove up to that darn office. When he opened the door, he was certainly not expecting a dizzying set of reporters asking his opinion on the whole matter and how it would affect California. You want my opinion on the current situation? Well, there's really only one thing to say. We're going to stand through this, you know why? Because we've got brains, brawn, and kindness to do so. And we're not ready to kill each other over such trivial things. We cannot allow ourselves to fall like everyone else has, because if not us, then who? You didn't answer me. Okay, th now this is epic. Sinclair walked down the street before his eyes forming a gloomy image of Don Trot in L.A. First, the market crash. 
Then this disaster of a presidency made this city a shadow of its former self. The homeless and beggars became a common sight, even in the once nice, clean parts of the city. Many buildings were abandoned, standing like an empty brick husks. All of this made Sinclair sick. The bigwigs in the establishment seemed to be derived of compassion, not even noticing how their shenanigans made the nation die. Something had to be done. The state should finally help its good people, not some liberal bureaucrats or whoever this madman Bowden served. Its message was as blunt and direct as a club. End poverty in California. A nation cannot claim greatness when her sons are starving. What about the daughters? Sons are starving, but what, are the, what about the daughters, you know? And we've about five days left, not too bad. And currently we are building up some military factories, which is nice. We do have quite a few military factories. We have 20 factories in total. But we have no naval speed to really get stuff done. So, a council by the river. Cool. For a few months, the quiet paradise of Riverside would become the beating heart of the world, and Steinbeck would not let himself miss the golden opportunity to see it firsthand. Notebook ready, and he strolled down the decadent Queen Anne mansions and tourist-friendly Spanish mission-style hotels. Dodging the hundreds of other journalists and dozens upon dozens of military policemen was a hard task, but nothing his athletic body could not handle. He reached a good spot to look over the whole scene. From there, just some feet away from the old courthouse, he could spot everyone easily. There was a tall and melancholic figure of C.C. Young, talking to his sinister friend G Giannini. Giannini, the banker, and not much farther away, lukewarm Democrat Creole passionately argued with someone from his own party as usual. He could not help but notice as well some familiar faces from the movies like Clark Gabe, or Glabe, Spencer Tracy, and Catherine Hepburn. Although he had heard Hepburn was a convinced leftist like himself, she did not seem to take issue with the two men's spiritualist affiliation, and the three laughed quietly together. Neither Bodine nor his lackey Hubbard, or Hubbard appeared to have come to the first meeting of the Riverside Council. That was for the better, as Steinbeck didn't believe he had the stomach to endure reporting on some schizophrenic drivel about ghost stories and pseudo-intellectual Gnosticism. Finally, his eyes bit the man he had just been looking for this entire time, Upton Sinclair. The last hope of the fair and just California robbed of this opportunity to change a dying state. Sinclair was completely alone, and while other socialists chatted nearby, it was time and everyone and every man from every party started making their way to the gargantuan marble arches of the courthouse. Stoke Sinclair suddenly sprung into motion, walking decisively towards the council. Only time will tell its outcome. The Californian interregnum begins. Oh boy. Reclaim Jefferson would be really nice. Prepare against Mormon machinations? I like that, but let's do Jefferson. With a total collapse of serious governmental authority, both federal and state, the people of Northern California have in quite a shocking manner declared secession from a great state. Obviously, since this cannot stand, we must return the rule of law to this, via recent troubling reports, lawlessness, and archaic land. Our state's borders are clearly defined, and if we wish to preserve stability, we must keep our borders secure until this crisis ends. KCW Broadcast 1 Calculated seconds of dramatic silence passed until the presenter squirmed in his seat and carefully read the note the station had sent him. This could very well be the most important moment of his career as a radio personality. He gasped for air away from the mic and turned to speak. Despite being triply, crippingly nervous, he managed to be as monotone and as clear as possible for his audience, unlike me. This is an official announcement from the Emergency Committee of the State of California, henceforth called the Riverside Council. Seeing the inability of the federal government of the United States of America to maintain a state of normalcy in the Union, California will from now on be politically and economically self-sufficient until said a state nationwide normalcy is restored. California will as well not join or participate in any plots against what is left of the U.S. This is a formal declaration of neutrality and attacks against its sovereign territory will be answered with the strength of arms. Any and all citizens who wish to know more details of the situation should contact their local representatives as they are instructed to answer any questions asked. Order and stability shall be guaranteed under any circumstances. God bless California and God bless America. The stanzas of I love you California blare from the radio of every citizen, filling the homes of millions with an uncertain future. The sunset state rises. We are in fact a democracy. One thing that may be forgotten through the last postponement of state elections and the backroom power-sharing agreements of the Riverside Council is that the new California Republic is still a democratic state. As the immediate situation stabilizes, two things are becoming evident. First, that there is very little very little the Republicans, Democrats, Progressives, and Spiritualists can agree on. And second, that the general population would have to have a say in the government. We need an election. The first federal election in the state will be critical to establishing what kind of country in the new California will be. With the stakes so high, it promises to be a dramatic, contested event. Hopefully we can withstand it. Let's get to work and then prepare against Mormon machinations. For almost 100 years, the good people of the American West have been subjected to the machinations of the fundamentalist polygamists known as Mormons. For far too long, they've been allowed to reign supreme in the West with their borderline pagan religion and its disturbing parallels of papism. Reports of border conflicts in Nevada have es escalated qu quickly and steadily following the illegal seizure of Reno by the self-proclaimed Deseret Authority. As much as we'd love to crush their Deseret experiment, we must deal with their internal problems first subsequently. All spiritually conscious Californians know the day will come when we must defend ourselves against the foul emanations of the desert authority. The false idea of Jefferson. 
Jefferson is a yoke of a nation above us. It barely holds on to its mountain realm, hiding in pillow forts with toy guns as their soldiers of tin whine about rural autonomies. Autonomies. Something we'd be willing to discuss if they weren't so uppity. Now, it's time to strike. It is time to do something about these separatists weakening our beloved California, our golden nation, our allegro, our beauty. We'll stop them at all costs if we're to get precious rural land and mountains back for harvesting of water of resources of grain. We need these resources for, or our people will dwindle. Regardless, it would give the Riverside Council that, pu that need to push a legitimacy. Prepare the war plans? Um, sure, why not? Now, they will rebel eventually, but we'll see what happens. And election day. It is finally time. Well, the campaign's finally complete, the ballot counting has begun uh, with a hotly contested race between avant-garde radical Edward Bodin, status quo pro-American candidate Frank Merriam, and about socialist and proper author Upton Sinclair, this will sure to be a nail biter unseen in California state history. With the final ballots being counted, the radio is expected to get the results any minute. Oh boy. Now, I might do all three paths here. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. It depends on what you guys say. If you'd like to see all three paths, please let me know in the comments below, because I'm totally okay with doing all three paths. So, cool. Sub-offensives are nice. It is almost 1940, so there you go. What is that? Available. Oh! Hey, there they are. Wait, no, they're not. Because that's still the United States of America, so... George Agar, Elijah Cook. I go George? Oh, they're all politically connected, god dang it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll go George. These guys are very... Oh, aggressive assault are nice. Offensive? Yes, that'd be really good to, to, to do that as well. Election day? Very, very good. It is almost 1940, like I said. Let's get some better gun stuff. And KCW Broadcast 2. To all new listeners, I must remind them that in this special program we are closely following the latest developments of our general elections until the results are declared. There have been no re relevant incidents so far, save for a single street brawl in LA between some Sinclairites and old Democrats. It is a pleasure to see that despite all the hardships suffered, all this uncertainty, there is hope and reason in our beautiful state. The results should be in soon, just have to wait for a contact in Riverside to phone us. Have you made any bets on who will win, folks? He paused for some time to take a sip of his whiskey on the rocks and move around in his seat, finding a more comfortable position. He had already been talking for almost two hours with only a handful of songs in between to catch your breath, yet. He was incredibly happy. He was a living voice of the most important elections in Californian history, a million families listening to the every word that came from his mouth. He tasted the whiskey, delighted and pleased with himself. His producer knocked on the window that divided the room between the recording booth and the technician's console and held a piece of paper against a glass. I just received a new update from Riverside itself, it seems. Pay close, Pay close attention. It says... Hmm... Jesus Christ. United Front? Um, well, since we technically went... This is technically unhistorical, which means nothing to me. But, like, since we sit, we're revolutionary socialists, I think we'll just go Sinclair for now. And we'll come back and do, uh, maybe some other paths. Epic. How I will end poverty. Wow. Upton Sinclair, huh? I think I've played them before, but we'll see. I will educate the poor. We get another research slot. That's pretty good. Re revisionist stuff? Huh. I will educate the poor. No description there, but that's okay. Modify the government? We can do that. Oh, who do we have here? More political power, accelerationist, no. So we can go with this one. Research speed is nice. Oh, Austrian right to clear war in Germany. Well, good luck with that. This coffee I have here is pretty good, too. Root out resistance mission effects. All right. Economy minister, probably down here or something like that. Yeah. Planned economy. Well, okay. None of these guys look really interesting to me. Delays nice get. Um, yeah. Hmm. We can get himself. We currently have point nine seven, which is not bad. Uh, I don't think we can get anyone else, so... Okay, we'll put him as head of government, too. Why not? Nice. After this, we as we go marching... Marching. Sure, why not? 42-day focus. Democracy purified. Revolutionary anarchist support. Libertarian Marxist support. Daily revisionist, socialist, and social democrat support every single day. Oh, I will feed the poor. That's not bad. Conservatism goes down. More daily political power is nice. I like that one. Less consumer goods, less construction speed, but it's only minus 1%, so... As we go marching, marching is probably really good to do, actually. Get some more resource efficiency gain, because we'll never have enough here, stuff here in California. We are... we have no natural steel. That is not good. Well, then. Well, let's go that one. Oh, can't do that one yet? Oh, wow, we lost all the PP. Okay, as we go marching, get some PP back. American Collapse, very nice.
Can we actually win there, maybe? Donald Abbott. Huh. All right, then. Well, then. They might win in Yekra. Yekra. So, I'm just going to take everything else they have up here, maybe. Kind of nice. Don't let them go anywhere else, probably. Oh, we have another uh, fifth research slot. Very good. Planes? Yeah. Warhawks? Sure, why not? How many divisions? They only have one division really holding out well against us. But as long as we can go there, it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. We're going to lose a lot of guys. We've lost a thousand. They have only one division, but that's okay. Ah, and they died. Good. Is that a core? It is a core. Nice. As we go marching, workers producing for themselves. Autonomous workers, more daily political power, less consumer goods, less slightly less construction speed, but 1% means nothing to me. And 8% more output? Sign us up. We need way more guns, though. Wow, that's really bad. Go 3, then go 2, then go 3. Yeah. Nice. So is that all we can do? California? That looks a bit too much of California. Can we go to war with Phoenix or Deseret? We'll probably go to war with Deseret, maybe, right? Maybe? We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, protect wartime workers' rights, maybe? 65% support for us. Uh, do we get any weekly stability? No, we do not. Hmm. That could be pretty good to do. Oh, wait. We do lose some war support, though. We lost... Oh, wow. 20%. Oh. oh. Okay, so we'll get that back, hopefully. Um, once this is done. But getting more stability is really good to get. So, after this one... Uh, campaigns across the countryside? Or get some better support weapons? Well, I'll get some better weapons, period. Well, how about we do... Strikes at Hollywood? I will feed the poor... I will house the poor. It's not very much. And there goes the Reich. Oh. And the Kingdom of Czechoslovakia. Well, alright. Yeah, it's only one thing here. Co coats for cold. Attack the people of luxury. Through the majority. I like that. Weekly stability plus four. As well as weekly war support. That's not bad. I don't think this campaign is going to be very long, but let's see. So we have all this, this side. But we still have other sides over here, too. So we'll see what happens. Road to a better California, huh? No description there. That's all right. Border region agricultural zones. Free land to settlers. Not bad. Uh, farms. Weekly stability would be very nice. Railroads. Attrition. Southern California arms factories. Eastern desert military camps. All right. Fortification against our enemies. Well, I think we'll do coats for cats. Or coats for cold. Probably next. Christian welfare. Wow. Okay. Way more uh, stuff over there. So, is there anything else we could do in this about this? Maybe not. Hmm. Happy 1940, though, everyone. Hope you have a good old year. You, know, you can do that, and then everyone else hold. Or just go there if you want to. That's fine. I will house the poor. Doesn't seem like technology really matters too much. So, just keep going, I guess. Next one we'll have done is improved computing machine, and then we'll do some atomic research for California. That'd be kind of nice. I hope we can take out the Mormons. That'd be kind of fun. So working on that. Weekly war support can go up. Ooh. We'll probably do that. Why not? Excavation 1. Get some more fuel because we can. We don't have any ships, which does suck. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, the National Spirit. Autonomous workers. Nice. Curtis Hawks. Naval bombers. Sure, why not? Better planes. Why not? Cool. Oh. Oh, we actually got some aluminum for that. That's good. Oh. And there goes World War 1. 2. That's yes, probably two. Well, let's see how well the French can do. They did go to war, so... What are the UK doing right now? Herbert Morrison, huh? Labor Party, Social Democrats, huh? Well, all right, then. Doing quite well in military factories. Not too bad, actually. Coats for the cold. Uh, what is this? Entrench ourselves. Protect our nation. Expand our nation? Probably. Let's do that one then. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, we'll do that one. It's only two weeks, so that's not too bad. And as much as I want to do entrench ourselves, I like the entrenchment plus max entrenchment plus 15%. Entrenchment speed plus zero. Division defense is nice, but we definitely got to go with this one. Oh, it's lagging very hard. What's going on? Greater California idea. Nothing. Expand our nation and potentially unify the U U.S. 
Hope so. Who died? Who unified or whatever? Belarus, the Aussie Republic. Oh. Pavel Bermont Avalov. Oh. oh. Who the heck are you guys? Victory? Belarus, declare one Russia. Provide with Brotherhood of Russian Truth. Teutonic Charge. That looks really cool. Cool. So we got those decisions. I guess we attack the people of luxury next. That goes conservatism here. Uh, the Revived Democratic Party is only 8%, so yeah. And we invade Deseret. Oh, we, go to, we just straight get, go to war with them. Okay. We get cords on their nation, too. They have, like, no manpower, so it'll actually probably be okay if we did that. Infantry equipment is nice. Let's grab some more, perhaps. It's a bad idea to do this, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. And we're probably going to start losing, but that's okay. As long as we can get to Salt Lake City ASAP, I think we'll be okay. But we do get cords on this stuff, so there won't be any resistance here, so that'll be nice. We're still sort of winning here, too. And it gives us more army XP, too, so that's kind of nice. Air superiority, we're looking pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. Oh, we have some divisions here, too, huh? Hold, then. Hold, 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 hold. Come on, guys. No, go there, go there. Don't let them, don't. You ding-dongs. You don't let them live. You just gotta encircle and kill. Alright, so how many have we lost? 1,000 versus... Oh, they've got way more divisions than I thought they would. Come on, you ding-dong divisions. Well, kill them off. Please just kill them off. They don't let them in. Please don't let them in. These guys should be 20 combo width? 24. Oh, they're 24 combo width. Okay, now they're completely cut off, which is nice. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, National Guard divisions... Are we... Well, hold on. You're all the same. 24 combo width. Oh, you must be this type of division. National Guard 2. Yeah, that's not very optimal. I'll shrink you up, guys. Shrink you up a little bit. A little better. Just go on in, guys. That'll be fine. Get some better entrenchment if you need it. And no national focus set. I will feed the poor. Lose political power, but get a lot more stability. Which is not bad. Even though we could probably uh, use more uh, political power right now, but whatever. Keep them in place, I guess. They should have no manpower left. And if we take the territory, we get core on it, so. Nice, not bad, not bad, not bad. Could be better, though, could be better. Hmm. Not bad, you still might be able to win. You probably will win. Oh, maybe not, but maybe. Yes, no, maybe so, yes, hello. If you cut them off, that'd be great. Or just kill them off that way. Yay, we got them. Wait, why can't we take everything? Nice. Hey, not bad. Not bad. I will feed the poor. Not bad. Even though we want them thick 40s. But we're actually doing quite well in all equipment. Except for support equipment, but what else is new? Alright, then after them, who's next? Invade the Northwest? Core, Washington, probably the Emergency Command Center up here. How many divisions do they have? 11 to 7,000. Ah, we have no idea. That's not good. Huh. Alright, well. Where do they have... What if you convoys? And after feeding the poor, destroy the autocracy in America? Cool, we'll get more civvies. We lose more stability, but I guess it is what it is. The land doctrine is still coming along, which is good, good, good. Get some casts. Would we actually be able to win here at all? Uh, we do have almost one division per tile. Let's see what happens. I guess we take the decision first. But we need PB for that, so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There you go. Do we actually make a division? Oh, we might have, actually. Look at that. We get some logistic companies, too. Mobile defense is nice. Grow integrated support. Destroy autocracy and through the majority. We get more weekly war support and stability, which would be very nice as well. Road to better California, though. Hmm. Yeah, political machine. That's only two weeks. That's actually really, really short, which is actually very, very nice. We need some more infantry equipment, of course. Because we just made another division. So go back up. That'll be good. How much support equipment do we not have? We have minus 125. 
Cavalry, we could do that. Mar uh, Marines, 40s, National Guard. Meh. Armor. Meh. Hmm. We don't have enough support equipment, really, for this stuff. So after this, we're going at 1.4. We're going to go and grab through the majority. Uh, that hurts our stability even more. We get more civvies, though. Revisionists. Uh, Bulgaria. Yeah, let's do through the majority first. It's only two weeks. And you get more daily political power gain, which is nice. There you go. We do have nine divisions, so if they attack us, that'd be kind of good for us. Oh, we could mass manually justify. How long would that take? Uh, 125 is actually not that bad. They attack us at all? No. Oh, we actually have 10 divisions now. Nice. Oh, fighting through the mountains here is going to sucky, 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 but whatever. We're going to try and circle that division first. They might want to come into our places too, but we'll see what happens. Nice. And let's go. We can do some of this stuff. I want to do like something up here. Oh, let's do Californians, militias into an army. Uh, we get more attack. With the fall of the U.S. and the fracturing of the United States Army with it, it is imperative that we immediately mobilize the California National Guard and reorganize it in the preparation to expand into a full-scale army. Not bad. As long as they don't move, we're kind of okay. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to move. Keep them in place. Come on, keep moving, 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 and grooving. How close are you guys? Either one, I don't care. Either one. Cool. Help out. Nice. It is 41, so happy 41, everyone. Let's get some more output and get some more construction speed. You guys help out too. See what you can do. Completely cut off. There's nothing they can do. Hey, boo boo. I'll keep them there too. Awesome. You guys head on up to Seattle. You get to Spokane. See what you can do. Cavalry actually probably would be a lot better. Once we get out of these mountains, that would be much better for us. We're actually demobilizing. No, we're, not. we're actually mobilizing more. Look at that. Nice. What doctrine? With the creation of our own army, it now befalls to us to decide on a direction for our forces. It'd be best to make this decision now before being independently procurement equipment. Before before we be, begin independently procuring equipment and indoctrinating the first class of our new officer corps. Words are difficult. Ah, oh, Ligus Prussia and Ossi Republic. Oh, you guys hold. Don't worry about that. Hold. Uh, I might send you guys up here too, just because we can. And we could probably pin everyone else. Don't worry about attacking there then. Ah, they're moving around, I see. That's fine. You guys go there then. Uh, you guys hold too. See what you can do. Good. And they want to come in? Nope. And we're almost there. Oh, nope. I'm glad I saw that too. Come on, guys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, you just stay there. There you go. Lots of pressure. Oh, you actually lost there. What doctrine? And since we're going down superior firepower, artillery attack, support artillery, mobile warfare. Wait, why do you get support artillery and but no superior firepower? Oh, there it is. Recruit. Oh, we change the volunteer only. Oh, volunteer army, more weekly manpower, less. What the heck? And only volunteers behind them. You get more weekly manpower, but recruitable population goes down by one percent. Uh. More entrenchment, max entrenchment. Supply consumption goes down. That's actually not too bad. But I guess we'll go artillery attacks. We do not have the deep pool of manpower the U.S. as a whole once did, or even a population of the size we must assume the warlords back east can call upon. As such, it is imperative that we take every step to fight as efficiently as possible, and using flexible artillery, firing on pre-planned barrage patterns to break up the assaults of the enemy and shatter his strong points. And these guys are dead. Good. Oh, don't worry about attacking anymore. Let them come on in. It might actually be easier for us to kill them all that way. There you go. Cool. If we can get in there fast enough, that would be really good. But yeah, at this point, we can't. Go to Portland. We want to. Are they moving down south? No, they're not. You guys hold. Let them come in if they want. Let them come in. Nice. And I was just going to do some of this too. The 12 principles. Cool? Cool. Hey, you've been cut off. Well, now we've been cut off. And then we'll cut you back off. 
And now you cut him back off as well. Long and disgusting lines here. Oh, Fiume's gone. Goodbye, Fiume. Twelve principles, and then we'll have Christian Welfare. All right, not bad, not bad. Guys, just go on ahead. If you have to fight someone, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Go to Portland. Go to Seattle. And then probably Spokane as well. Come on, guys. How big, are, how big is this enemy division? I don't know why. It just looks like we're fighting Brazil the entire time. But that's okay with me. You know, whatever. They're attacking us. That's fine. Just don't get in circle two, guys. That would suck. Good. You're over there. That's nice. Keep them in place. And, of course, we did get encircled. How oh, great. But not anymore. Democracy purified. Cool. Now we got out of there, which is good. Did you guys keep these guys in place? What's going on here? Oh, it took Seattle. I guess Spokane's next. Do they have a capital? Um, I guess not. They have no capital now. That is kind of OP then. That's extremely OP if they have no capital. Anything else here? Look inside the middle class. Douglas Bombers. Got all three of these things done. Uh, better artillery, I guess, since we do have blueprints for them, so why not? These guys should definitely be out of manpower by now, right? Democracy purified. Yeah, they're definitely out. Ten to eight divisions. We do hopefully get cores on them. Well, I guess we're done with that side. Let's go ahead and keep doing uh, the, the barrages of fire. With our artillery men drilled and our fire plans ready, we must take every step to streamline our logistic systems to ensure that our enemies are given no reprieve for our, un for our withering bombardment. Keep attacking, keeping them in place. Keep them, keep them, keep them in place. Actually, do we have anything here? Yes, entry expert would be nice. Anything over here yet? Not yet, that's fine, whatever. Just keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job, guys. You guys are losing over there, though. It's not very good, but whatever. Go, go, go. We can't Spokane. That's got to be it, right? And we're not doing that one because I don't want to hurt ourselves, but roads to better California. Alright. How much more do we need? Yeah, this has definitely got to get reworked or something. This is a bit extreme. We took out Seattle. We took out Spokane. We took out the big cities that they have here in the West Coast. I say, I press H. Stop attacking. Stop attacking there. I don't want you to attack there. I don't care what the... Okay, if you want to keep attacking, then go kill yourself over there. Seriously. I know I have it on aggressive assault, but like... Come on, man. How stupid do you have to be? How incredibly stupid do you have to be to just keep attacking? Oh my god. Incredibly stupid. Well, we just took someone out there. Yeah, this is extremely costly. Alright, Cass. Cass. Better artillery? Better artillery. Yeah, I don't like that we have to take out every single state. I really don't like that. Hey, look, they're gonna die now. Are they doing last stand? I kinda really doubt it. Yeah, they're not. Good. Are they dead yet? Nope. Yeah, this has definitely got to get reworked or something. Every single tile? Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Atomic research is nice, though. Still 41. Get some better cap, because we're going to need a lot more factories. 231 was not too bad. And then we'll do Bay Area Industries. Military civvies. Not bad, not bad. Go right there. If you can kill them all, that'd be great. All right. Construction is good. Get more fuel, because we could probably use that. And get some more extraction, too. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely gotta get reworked or something, man. I probably need to increase our conscription laws, too. Let's go to limited conscription. Oh, look at that. Democracy fulfilled. Sinclairists? We're losing support every single day, so... I guess it is what it is. Is the war over? Technically, yes, but no. Um... This is stupid. Okay, I guess you're not supposed to play this. Oh wait, dude. Oh, are they? Up are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? There's no way we can go up there. So, this is this is not smart. I don't think this is very smart at all. You, we literally we weren't given a navy, and we literally can't build ships. So we're kind of screwed. So okay, well, let's open this up. That is stupid. 
That's definitely got to get reworked sometime. I'm sure the devs are working on it. Don't get me wrong, but that is... That is so stupid. That is beyond stupid, man. Man, why do we take it to Alaska? We don't get any easy access into, Cal you know, Canada. It's not like they're going to, you know, ally us. Man, that's so dumb. That is so stupid. What? We don't even... Why do we get cores on this, but not Alaska? If they're in Alaska, that makes no sense. That makes no sense, man. That makes no sense. Uh, anyways, let's see. Cavalry divisions. Okay, come on. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Cool. Uh, let's duplicate it and call it garrisons. Cool. We'll do that. Now, with garrisons, just remove this stuff. They don't need this stuff or where they're headed. We got enough army XP, anyways. Uh, that's good enough. Garrisons. Civilian oversight. Well, I guess we're not democratic, so we can't do anything. There you go. That's not bad. Alright, not bad. Could be better. Could be quite a bit better, but that's okay. And you guys should just be able to march straight on in. How many divisions does Wyoming have? Ah, uh, Butler's here too. Not that much manpower, which is good. And we'll go ahead and do San Juan, San Joaquin Valley Farms. Cool. Oh, and we gotta do it like this. Oh, wait. Are we gonna do it with all these guys? Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, whoopsie. I should have read that a little bit better. There you go. Well, we'll do them one at a time. Hopefully they don't get too far here. You guys gotta go in. Oh, Germany goes to Denmark. These guys sh I hope this does not turn into another one episode like we just had. Oh, God, this is not good. Uh, we'll give him a general. Elisha? Elisha? Let's go up there and just keep going. Take out everything they have. Hey! Oh, crap. Yugoslavia, come on. Take them out, take them out. Oh, that's nice. Get some more anti-air, I guess. Go. Take out why literal Wyoming. Just hang on for now. Take the state, god dang it. Take the stupid state. There you go. Oh, go sca scavenger. We could probably use more stuff here. And they should be dead, right? Oh, my god. Why do I have to take every single tile? Why? Go, 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 go. You find him, beat him up. Alright, there we go. That's good. That's that's That makes more sense than us having to take out Alaska when we have no ships. Literally no ships. Alright, let's go reform ourselves here a little bit. Get everyone on the line and we'll just go on ahead. Good. Now, this is better. This is better. We can sell out the radicals. Meh. We're kind of okay. Oh, they attacked us, huh? Early mobilization. Russian and the Russian state. Yeah, let's still build up some civvies and millies. That would be nice. At the same time, we could build up a lot more... Uh, oh, yeah, we could build up more uh, stuff here. That would be nice. Cool. We'll go right on in. If they want to really try to kill us off, how many divisions do they have? Up to four, max. That's not bad. Let's go right on in. Supplies are obviously not that great, but it is what it is. All right, and we'll continue with free land settlers. Nice. How can you not win here? Seriously, like, they're not that strong. Arizona has probably like, zero manpower right now. Yeah, literally no manpower. Navajo, a little bit of manpower. America Battle Royale with California, kind of crazy. Go to Phoenix. Go, 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 go. They want to fight against us? Well, they can have a fight, and they're going to die. Looks like we're running out of manpower equipment. Yeah, definitely equipment, but still. Nah, that's actually not too bad. That's, that's better than it was earlier. Hey, Phoenix Castle, thanks for playing. Thank you for playing. Very nice. Go on in, guys. I don't see too many more guys over there, which is good. Nice. And that should be it, right? Uh, I am correct. Cool. Alright, who's next? Go further? Minus 10% more support. Evade Nimico? Colorado and New Mexico. So this area next. The faster we go, the better time we'll have taking everyone else out. So, And the longer we take, the more cores we get, the more strength we get. So it's overall pretty much worth it. So, Fighters? Cool. Get our guys where they need to be. Throw them right there. Good, good, good. 
And some casts. I love the casts. Come on. Actually, we might not even use uh, anti-air actually at all. Uh, that would be okay to do 41. Nuclear stuff is done. Get some radar, I suppose. As well as some of this. Yes. And let's just go on in. Now, I can't imagine they put up too much of a struggle, but, you know, that's okay. Free lands of settlers and border regions of agricultural zones. It looks like we'll probably be able to get all the way to the East Coast. Which is not bad. Do we have an agency name? Well, if you guys can think of a, a better agency name than Office of Strategic Services, like the CIA, such as California Intelligence Agency, please let me know in the comments below. What do you think would be a very nice, fitting name for us currently? Ooh, military factories? Yes, please. More fighters would be good. More cast would be just delicious. And New Mexico is gone. But I think I'm going to split this into two parts for us tomorrow to take out the rest of America. Which shouldn't be too bad since we're doing it pretty quickly anyways. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will reclaim all of America. Mostly. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.